Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Before we continue, I am very happy to announce that me, together with these four gentlemen right here, are nominated for a Golden Gnome this year. It's an absolute honor being in this category. And if you want to vote for any one of us, I'll leave the link in the description down below. This is Challenges, my brand new hardcore Iron Man that will take on your challenges as I progress the account and eventually unlock every single item from the wilderness. However, if I die, the series ends. So in the last episode I asked for one thing and that was a money making method to be able to afford a dwarf cannon worth 750k. We currently have 142k cash and a few things we got from the chaos elemental in the last episode which we can sell for cash. I'm gonna sell all the items in the general store here at the band camp in the wilderness because this store purchases all these items for a much more expensive price than any other store. And to prepare for more wilderness activities I decided to complete the mini quest Daddy's Home for teleport tablets. I got myself two graceful pieces and I got myself a rune pouch. Alright, here we go. Boom boom boom. Boom boom boom. Boom boom boom. boom. Nothing. Perfect. We got 264k cash. We only need like 490k more. And then we're done. It is time for this series first challenge which is a money making method and you guys were clear you wanted me to do one of these two challenges either collect and high up steel plate bodies in the wilderness or do wilderness slayer and make money through the Laren's chest and I've decided to do the second one because there's a chance of me getting dag and high ropes a unique wilderness item so here we go I need 55 magic for high ops anyway so I'm gonna waste some deference for this task Hey, and that's our first slayer task completed. All right, we need to be lucky here. Ice giants. All right, that's doable. Risky, but doable. All right, I think this should be safe to do. Why would anyone even PK here? And that is 53 magic. Slayer level slowly growing, 20. To oh my God, it's just a bot. If you're wondering about this new green skull with the horns, it's actually the new very high risk worlds. If you enter these worlds, you get skulled instantly and you lose everything if you die. And there we have it, 55 magic, now we can do the high level alchemy. And that's the task completed. Unfortunately, we didn't get a single Laren's key. Our next task is Ankus, but I don't have a turtle wilderness teleport, so I have to skip this task. There's just too many PKers here. Can we get a good task? Lesser demons! I'm actually gonna do this one. I think we should be pretty safe here. If we see a PK, we just hop world. And if I do get attacked, we can run south to the lever. Third slayer. 63 range. <gasps> Our first ever Laren's key. It's so beautiful. And that's the task completed. This first key right here is going to be the key that determines if we are a lucky hardcore Iron man or if we are not. No one here? Alright, good luck to me. Magic logs, alright. We can do desert treasure. We have the magic logs for desert treasure right there. Is Cristilia going to bless us with another good task? Chaos Druids, ooh. The Elder Chaos Druids is a very popular peaking spot for low level pures. So my mouse is gonna be on the teleport at all time. And that's 35 Slayer. Oh! oh my god. That's the first PK I've seen. My reaction time was a bit slow. Oh, we got the Laren's key. Beautiful. Second wilderness task completed. Alright, give us. Why magic logs again? Oh my god. Oh my god. I got my first hard casket. This could change everything. If we get black dehyde, we're going for 70 range and potentially 40 defense. Here we go. High ox. That's good. That's good for the cannon. That's a nice little 100k. Lesser demons. All right, we're going back to lesser demons. And that is 40 slayer. You see that Laren's key on the ground? Thank you very much. Anything but magic logs. Anything but magic logs. Okay, that's even worse, pure essence. Just gained a combat level, 52 combat right now. 
Do you see what I see? I see a Laren's key on the ground. Yes! That's fortified Slayer. Give us coins. Steel bars, that's for the cannonballs. 427, that's times four. That's 1.6k cannonballs. What? I just got TB'd. Like he has no backup. But he baited me so hard because I saw him earlier. I think, is that my first teleblock on the account? As I was banking, I did see this challenge from Adu. And he wants me to always wear my hardcore Iron Man helmet in the wilderness. So from now on, moving forward, we're always gonna be wearing this hardcore Iron Man helmet. I see a Laren's key on the ground, let's go. And that's another key. Oh shit, that was a peek here. I just logged in. Another one. And that's another key. And that's another key. 68 range. All right, here we are by the chest. We're gonna need items worth 300k to be able to afford the cannon. Chest number one. Red, that's the worst thing we could get. Rune plate bodies, that's 76k high ox. Beautiful. Tuners, please, something. Rune plate legs, beautiful. That's a lot of cash we got right now. And we are out, baby. We're out. The grind is not over yet. We still need around 100k cash more. And that's a green dragon task completed. And that's another task completed. All right, we got one key here. Iron ore. Yeah. I'm cleaning out my bank. I might just have enough for 750k here. We're gonna high off the rune crossbow. 14k more. There we go. We got it! 750k cash! We liquidated a lot of the items from my bag. And now we have 750k. What a beautiful beard. I was hoping you might sell me a cannon. How much? 750k! And luckily we have exactly 750k in our inventory. I'll take the cannon please. And there we have it. The cannon has been unlocked. Now we need to make our cannonballs. We have our steel bars here already, but we need... 35 smithing So we're doing the knight sword the knight sword quest completed. We got 29 smithing We only need six more smithing levels something we can make cannonballs Ooh, This game is so easy man 35 smithing We can now make cannonballs. Let's go. All right. The cannonball grind has begun I'll see you guys in like five billion hours when I have my cannonballs 1600 cannonballs later these cannonballs are potentially going to get me my fourth and maybe even fifth wilderness item and the items I'm going for is the elder chaos ropes they have a drop rate of one in 1400 per unique piece and if you remember from the last episode we currently have three out of 37 wilderness unique items I just got a rune spear what isn't that super rare there it is the freaking rune spear. And that's the final cannonballs. Final kill. Did we get anything? No, we're never lucky. Let's get out of here. We did, however, get this clue scroll. Uh, we're gonna attempt to do it, but if we need defense levels, I might drop it. Yep, step number two. We cannot complete nature spirit. Gives us defense, and I'm not ready to get defense just yet. Making more cannonballs, and that's fourth is smithing. A billion hours later, that's 1,700 cannonballs more. All right, we are back. Uh, that's a beautiful level, 60 hit points. The big level 70 range, and we now need to get black dehyde somewhere. It's either through crafting or hard glue scroll. Oh my god, that was a triple rana drop. Beautiful. I've never seen that before. There's the clue scroll. The Nanathis, we can do this one. There it is, step one completed. Step two completed. Fifth agility. I only need two agility levels for that step, all right. 64 laps later, 50 agility, we can now complete this step. Step number three completed. Step number four completed for another casket. This is our second hard casket and now we have a big chance on a big upgrade, the black dehyde chaps. Here we go, good luck. Oh no, we got nothing useful. The p even the page is bad. Oh my god! And that's another 1,600 cannonballs used. And still, 
Not a single unique elder rope piece. I guess we gotta grab some more cannonballs. And that's 45 smithing for the six. Our third trip back, we now have 2k cannonballs. Rata. He's back. He's back all the time. Can he stop coming back? For real though. I need to hop world, honestly. I need to hop world. <gasps> yes! We got one! We got one of the three pieces! Let's go, baby! Alright, we still have 600 cannonballs left. Let's use them up. We're out of cannonballs once again, but we did get ourselves the Elder Chaos Rob Bottoms. Man, I'm happy. I am very happy right now. We did complete two challenges in this episode, and one of them was to obtain the cannon, which was a huge one for the account. We did also obtain the Elder Chaos Robes Bottoms, together with a lot of herbs, and a lot of dragon bones. And most importantly, we are still alive. I'm happy to announce that this video is sponsored by Squarespace. If you're looking into making a website, then this is the perfect place for you. There are so many amazing templates to pick from. You can even purchase your own domain directly from Squarespace. Imagine having your own name as a domain. And if you're a numbers guy, you can have an insight into the top traffic sources. Very interesting if you ask me. You can even create a community with a fully integrated commenting system. So go to squarespace.com for a free trial and by using my code CENGINEER you get 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Wait, what? You made it this far? You should definitely like this video right now. And subscribe. And celebrate the fact that you've made it this far with a snack.